Thank you for listening to today's Veterans Christian Fellowship Devotional Bible Study, Walk in the Spirit. Please click the link in the description to read along, and be sure to look up and study the reference scriptures throughout. Our scripture reading today begins in Galatians chapter 5. I'll be reading verses 1-26 through 26 in the New King James Version. Stand fast, therefore, in the liberty by which Christ has made us free, and do not be entangled again with a yoke of bondage. Indeed, I, Paul, say to you that if you become circumcised, Christ will profit you nothing. And I testify again to every man who becomes circumcised that he is a debtor to keep the whole law. You have become estranged from Christ, you who attempt to be justified by law. You have fallen from grace. For we through the Spirit eagerly wait for the hope of righteousness by faith. For in Christ Jesus neither circumcision nor uncircumcision avails anything, but faith working through love. You ran well. Who hindered you from obeying the truth? This persuasion does not come from him who calls you. A little leaven leavens the whole lump. I have confidence in you, in the Lord, that you will have no other mind. But he who troubles you shall bear his judgment, whoever he is. And I, brethren, if I still preach circumcision, why do I suffer persecution? Then the offense of the cross has ceased. I could wish that those who trouble you would even cut themselves off. For you, brethren, have been called to liberty. Only do not use liberty as an opportunity for the flesh, but through love serve one another. For all the law is fulfilled in one word, even in this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. But if you bite and devour one another, beware lest you be consumed by one another. I say then, walk in the Spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lusts of the flesh. For the flesh lusts against the Spirit, and the Spirit against the flesh, and these are contrary to one another, so that you do not do the things that you wish. But if you are led by the Spirit, you are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are evident, which are adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lewdness, idolatry, sorcery, hatred, contentions, jealousies, outbursts of wrath, selfish ambitions, dissensions, heresies, envy, murders, drunkenness, revelries, and the like, of which I tell you beforehand, just as I also told you in time past, that those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such there is no law. And those who are Christ have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. Let us not become conceited, provoking one another envying one another. In 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7, the Apostle Paul says, For we walk by faith, not by sight. Faith in the Lord Jesus Christ allows us to trust Him with the concerns of life. It means we no longer live lives led by flesh nature, but through the indwelling Holy Spirit, living in a Christ-like manner with a focus on Jesus rather than ourselves and the things of this world. When we truly accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, which requires repentance and a commitment to yield our lives to Jesus and to follow Him alone, our faith is credited unto us as righteousness. In fact, Scripture says that Christ's disciples are the righteousness of God through Christ Jesus. Because of Jesus' work of salvation, we can be clothed with His righteousness and liberated from the bondage of sinful living. Because Jesus paid the penalty of our sin, his disciples are no longer doomed to live and die in sin, but are to live in communion with Christ to walk by faith in order to have the rich, full life of love that God created us for. That is not obtained by our own human effort of striving for obedience to the law or rules to live by. Paul said, But if you are led by the Spirit, you are not under the law. Faith in the Lord Jesus Christ grants His disciples the ability to be led by the indwelling Holy Spirit. Paul says, So I say walk by the Spirit, and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. For the flesh desires what is contrary to the Spirit, and the Spirit what is contrary to the flesh. 
they are in conflict with each other, so that you are not to do whatever you want. Having access to this life that God has given us, we should be fully aware that we must yield and surrender to Him in order to experience true freedom. We only hinder the work of the Holy Spirit when we choose to try to control things through our own efforts, which is still an act of the flesh. When we are yielding to the Spirit and walking by faith, Christ's disciples bear much fruit in the name of Jesus, to the Father's glory. Paul said, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. Those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. Since we live by the Spirit, let us keep in step with the Spirit. The full life that Jesus provides is one where His true disciples walk by faith in Him, not by sight as we once did in our old life of sin.